Stand by. For this stem bite, I'm hanging out at a park with my wife and kids, and I see a couple different kinds of trees that illustrates to me uh, some interesting things about how plants and trees grow. So this is a beautiful tree. It's got this really uh, cool leaves. It's kind of like an evergreen almost. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is. It has this beautiful bark that's kind of like striped and red. It's really cool. Wow, 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 look at that color. One of the surprising things you'll notice about the tree is that it has all kinds of leaves around the outside, but if you look inside, it's completely empty. I mean, these branches are completely bare the whole way inside, and they kind of extend way outward. What it, what it illustrates is one of the things that all plants do, which is they try to grow towards the light. We call it phototropism, right? But inside this tree, okay, it's really shady. And so if the leaves want to grow and the, and the branches want to grow, they have to grow towards the outside. So that's why you see these long, slender branches without any leaves on them growing toward the outside where they can capture light. Now by contrast, I want to show you one of the other cool things about trees. This is an enormously tall tree. And that is not only do trees want to grow towards the light, trees also want to grow towards the sky. And you can see it really striking on this crazy big tree. Now what I'd like you to notice about this tree is you can see this amazing branch that's growing right here, yeah? The branch grows out, kind of like this phototropism we're talking about, grow away from the tree to capture the light. But as soon as it's out, it grows straight up. Here's another branch of this tree. You can see it grew out almost straight, and then it's growing almost perfectly straight up into the sky. So we call this gravitropism, right? <laughs> Geotropism? I thought yeah. it was gravitropism. I don't think there's anything called gravitropism. Oh dear. It knows to grow straight up towards the sky again because it thinks that's where it's going to get the most light. Now, of course the tree isn't necessarily thinking, but the actual mechanisms that are inside the cells of this plant that allow it to grow actually have detection tools built in for gravity. So like the fluid will kind of flow towards the bottom of one part of the cell making it grow in the opposite direction. One cool thing that you could try is grow a plant for a week or two and then tilt it on its side and let it grow again for another couple weeks and you'll see a little 90 degree bend right inside that plant that you just grew. All right, that's it for this time. We'll catch you later. Stand by.